Hi YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. Today I am in a hotel, Nick and I both, and I wanted to film and update you guys a little bit on what's going on because <laughs> things have been a little tough lately and I feel like I haven't been able to create what I had set out to create in terms of YouTube videos and I haven't been able to hunt the way I like to hunt and there are just things going on so and nothing crazy or bad or anything I'm just being dramatic but I want to update you guys on what's going on and what you have to look forward to because there are good things coming I'm just in a little I think Nick and I are both in a little bit of a slump lately because the trailer has been tough but specifically in the past couple of weeks it has been in the 20s at night and it's been so cold and we're stubborn and we don't use heat for a number of different reasons and it's just been hard we I think one thing that I want to clarify that is a common misconception about our life on the road is that we work from the road. This isn't just living on the road. This is living and working on the road. And our work is all online. So we need internet access. And when it's 20 degrees at 9 a.m. in the trailer and we have to get work done, we go to coffee shops which is great for a short period of time, but when you've been doing it for, you know, an extended period of time, and every day is so cold that you're not, I don't know, you're just not sleeping well, and all I'm saying <laughs> is that we are run down from living on the road. And I feel like because of that, I haven't been able to hunt the way that I like to hunt that I want to hunt this whole time Nick and well I don't know if it was both of us but at least for me I was most excited about September because I wanted to I don't know I was just excited about elk season and like being able to create and do what we do and live out of a trailer during elk season and backpack and do all these cool things and it was like in my opinion just such a flop because we're both so exhausted mentally and physically and i think that mostly stems to the trailer and the fact that we've been i mean really living on the road up until then in my opinion was great but then there was just something about the cold that j j just messed so many things up. So, that's what happened in elk season in September. And we didn't even hunt the last couple of days. And it's partially due to like the meat processing conundrum that you're in whenever you're living on the road and you don't have access to freezers and things like that. Um, and not wanting to inconvenience other people if we whatever so now we're in a hotel and we are recouping this will be our second night in this hotel for an antelope hunt that will start on Thursday and we'll hunt through Monday Monday right yeah we theoretically could stay longer if we want to. But we have some friends coming in from Pennsylvania. They're flying out. And they're leaving on Tuesday. That's besides the point. <laughs> the point is we will be doing some fun things again. And we're going to stop working and start having fun and filming and hunting and doing what we love to do. Because 
This takes me into another tangent. We are launching a business. I talked about this very briefly in my last Q&A, but Nick and I are launching a lifestyle and apparel brand. And this video isn't even intended to announce that. Um, so for those of you who are still watching, it's, you know, this is for you. I'm just like filling you guys in and letting you know what's going on. And we're launching this lifestyle and apparel brand in November and it's October 1st. So we have about a month and a half before the big day and we have been so busy building this thing from the ground up. We've been working on it for like a year and I will film a video in the future that is like an official announcement. This is a very casual announcement, but I personally have been so excited and so invested in building this brand and it has eaten up so much of my focus. There were days where I didn't want to elk hunt. This is like sad to admit, but there were days that I didn't want to elk hunt because I wanted to work on building this brand. And I knew if I went hunting, it would drain me physically and mentally more than I already was. And I wouldn't be able to like put my full effort into worn and weathered which is what it's called um and i will include a link below the website's not complete but we have a little like sign up landing page thing that you guys could check out if you want the landing page has a link to the newsletter so you can check that out and sign up if you want to be alerted whenever we officially launch and actually the people who have signed up for the Outdoors Alley newsletter, have already been notified. They already know about Worn and Weathered. So those newsletters will stay separate though. Outdoors Alley newsletter is still YouTube and cool things that I like and fun things that are going on and exclusive content and Worn and Weathered is separate. Worn and Weathered its own brand. And although I'm um, obviously a big part of it I'm not all of it Nick and I are co-owners and we're building this together and it's gonna be a lot about like camaraderie and bringing people together and conservation and all these cool things so I won't be like the front and center face of it but a big part so that's what's been going on so we have some laundry to do since we've been living on the road We've been doing our laundry mostly at laundromats, obviously. <laughs> I don't know where else we would do our laundry. Occasionally at a friend's house. But the hotel has laundry facilities here, so we're going to take advantage of that and wash our hunting clothes and get ready for this antelope hunt. And I'm excited. I am going to stop working for, whatever, five days completely. No work, just fun and filming, which is fun most of the time. I forgot all of the quarters. <sighs> this detergent by Hunter Specialties. This is the Fresh Earth scent. I use, I use the entire BioStrike line by Hunter Specialties for all of my scent control. So I use the laundry for all of my gear. They also have dryer sheets and this is my first year using the dryer sheets. But the fresh earth, there the fresh earth scent is like, it literally smells like dirt, and it's awesome. Nick 
loves it. It's kind of funny. But anyways, then I also use the shampoo and the deodorant. And I'm not gonna lie, at first I was like, do I really need to use the shampoo? But it is odorless. And to be fair, I don't know how hard it is to find odorless shampoo or like fragrance free, but it's not something that I've seen. So that is fantastic. Um, and it really is odorless, so I'm into that. And the field spray I keep in the truck, and that's like the easiest way that I have found, because every time I get out of the truck, when I'm at my hunting location, I spray myself down real quick. If I'm out west, I spray my pack down. Sometimes I have a pack in the east, but not always. You know, sometimes I'm just shoving stuff in all of my pockets, so. Um, but anyways, that is Hunter Specialty stuff, and it's awesome. So that's what I'm working with. Let me sit you down here. I would like to note this washing machine is only a dollar. That is the cheapest washing machine I have come across. We want to do... Cold because there is merino wool in there. And if you know anything about merino wool, it shrinks. It loves to shrink. So anytime you're washing any kind of wool, definitely avoid the heat in the washer and in the dryer because it will shrink. I guess I'll bring these with me again. Actually, one thing I do wanna mention, you can kind of see it, I have noticed that this likes to spill a little bit, so just make sure to screw on the cap really tight if you get one of the smaller ones. The larger ones I haven't had that issue with, but the small one, it's also probably because I live on the road and it's, you know, in a vehicle all the time. Ah, this door's through. Okay, here we go. We have clothes everywhere. Drying. The fresh earth smells so much like dirt, just wet dirt. It smells really good in a weird way because it reminds me, at least, of the woods. We have baseball game on. I should probably mute, huh? Let me mute. Well, that is it, YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching and following along. I hope this wasn't too whiny. I'm not trying to whine. We're just a little bit run down from not sleeping well and the struggles of living on the road. So that's all. Just a little update just to say hello before we are having fun hunting antelope. So that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.